a proud sponsors. We are talking relationship and a long distance one at that. Uh, we'll do like Danny would say, we'll rewind a little and then we'll search on to other areas that we couldn't cover last week. So let's just recap on what a long distance relationship is and some of the reasons why people enter into such relationships. I'll start so, with you, Rick. Okay, so good morning and uh, also happy Father's Day to my brother, <coughs> Kweku Edumata. I yeah. miss you. I miss you very much. <laughs> and to all all the gentlemen, the fine gentlemen who are watching us, my mm -hmm. brothers, Bishop Divine Ajay and uh, Apostle Chris Ajay, mm -hmm. Mr. Ajay, I will see Ajay at first light, Neta Pharmacy, be chairman. Okay. okay. So long distance relationship, uh, in my opinion, is a situation where you are out of touch. Physically. Physically. That's it. I mean, uh, the one party is on point A, and the second party is on point B, and physically they cannot touch, but they are able to connect ele by electronic devices, electronic means by the uh, internet, or by telephone, they are able to connect. But when it comes to physical, they cannot touch. Yes. So for me, that is what a long distance relationship is. Okay. And it doesn't matter where the person is. I mean, that is the person is in the village, and you are in the city, mm -hmm. or the person is over the shores, and you are on the other side of the shore. Yeah. They are all long distance. Mm -hmm. I will be long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Long distance. So uh, before I come to uh, Apostle, sorry. Oh, you know, uh, fellow Ghanaians, we, this, this mask wearing <laughs> is, is something else. We, we really, really have to keep to the protocols and pray that the head in, uh, you know, uh, uh, vaccination we are praying for by, by December or November there about really comes to be so that we can stop wearing the mask altogether. It's not easy at all. And today of all days, Reverend, Reverend, why don't you shift it down a little? I want to shift it down. I From skip. your nose area. Aha. <clears throat> uh, uh -huh. Okay. I wish I had a shield. Mm, okay, so we'll see how we, no, we next can week, get we'll, next week. We'll use yeah, the shield. We'll use the shield. Uh, talking but my prayer really is that we can go out of it completely. Oh, you know. shall I? It will happen. Amen. It will Amen. Happen. Yes. All right, so let's, let's allow you to rest on that a little. No. Um, Apostle, I don't know whether you want to add something to the definition of long distance relationship. As Reverend here has said explicitly, or if you do not, can you tell us some of the situations that will lead one? To enter into such a relationship. All right, thank you very much. I'd like mm -hmm. to also take this opportunity and wish um, our production manager, a crazy Oh, you took uh, the happy, wind out of happy my Happy Father's Day. <laughs> uh, you know, he's my, he's my boss, too. <laughs> yes, uh, but he doesn't like being called that, too. Well, you know, he's boss. a humble type. Yeah, but he's my boss. <laughs> you see now. <laughs> all right, and I mean, all ministers of God in Ghana. I mean, we wish them happy Father's Day. Yeah, you know, especially those that are doing it so well, it's, like it's, yourselves. It's, it's, it's difficult to be a father, but it's difficult, more difficult to not, be... Not to be a father. <laughs> <laughs> and also to be a father of the, in the house of God, it's not easy because all kinds of people come there. And so we wish them happy Father's Day and pray that God will strengthen them, give them the wisdom to, to go around their duties as a father. All right, so I mean, yes, last week we spoke about long distance relations. Last, I'm Reverend Dr. said, you know, mm. It, it basically is about we not being physically together, as she said. And last week we also added, I mean, that it happens at different ends. There are some, it is when they've entered into the relationship and due to maybe schooling or maybe work schedule, one decides to maybe travel outside. And it can be, be within the same country. So you can, a, a police officer can be transferred or, I mean, a worker staff can be transferred to any place and you leave your spouse somewhere. So eventually, you need to now communicate, as she rightly said, via maybe, it, I mean, mobile phone and other things. So, and we, we also added that there are some people that live together. But if you are checking the definition, they are also enjoying, or they are also out of touch. Because basically, when you talk of you being in touch, it's not just looking at your face. It's your ability to, to communicate well. Can you imagine we being here, we are not talking? 
I will not feel your presence. Mm -hmm. You see, the, the, the process or the means for us to get in touch is through communication. So I tell people, even deaf people, deaf and dumb people, still communicate. They find a way to communicate. You understand? So yes, there are people who are living under the same roof, but if you are scrutinizing or you're analyzing it well, they are almost, they are even, they may, they may, may, may be worse than those who are physically out of touch. You understand? Apostle, I like the point you have just made and we will stay a while longer on it. It is understandable if, as a result of work, schooling, or any other normal exigency, you travel. Yeah. But you are too living in the same room and you are distanced. Yeah. How can that come about? Well, yeah, it happens, uh, I mean, due to a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. And one reason, as, I mean, we said it on this platform several times, that every relationship, especially marriage, is built on understanding. And you can only ensure this understanding through communication. I can only understand you when you communicate to know what you like and what you don't like. But this is where many of us, we cloud it. You know, I tell people, especially um, for us to understand ourselves, like I said, through communication. But the moment you begin to engage in other things, especially primaritas and the rest, it, it clouds your, I mean, your like, we, 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 we assess ourselves logically, not emotionally. We don't use our heart to take decisions. We take decisions from our mind. But then when you engage in some of this, especially such, I mean, primarily says, it, it, it clouds your judgment. So you begin to shield or cover a lot of things. This is where we mostly we hear people say, love covers, of course, you are emotionally charged. So there are things you may not like about the person, but you keep thinking and hoping the person will change. Now, after you are married and settled down, hoping this person will change, and I've, I've been saying it, marriage, it's neutral. Marriage is just like money. It doesn't change people. It only amplifies. It takes the position of the person. So nobody should sit at home and be thinking this person will change after marriage. No. Marriage by itself doesn't change people. It only embodies, it only I mean, amplifies the person. So if this person was not regularly intelligent, talking to you, anytime you meet, it's of you to sit down, discuss issues, discussion through, even where you have to argue, you do intellectual argument. You don't do that. As soon as you meet the person, you kiss yourself, oh, I'm off, miss you, I've missed you, then you end up on bed. So this has become the form of communication. You can engage in all this work. Now, the moment you, now, you marry, to now shift back to a normal conversation becomes a problem. Because that's all you're used to. All you are used to is, I've missed you, I've missed you then, something. So that's why we keep on advising that, look, it is important we build a good foundation. Communication is key. Now, you see, I tell people that there are two scriptures in the Bible, man. If you are able to understand the scripture, it takes about 99% of our problems. Now, when God was commanding the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 20, to go in chapter 5, mm -hmm. he spoke to the man and said, Husband, love your wife. Mm -hmm. Not just as you want, but just as Christ loved the church. And gave. Now, I mean, that simple statement, before you even move, because each statement means something. Mm -hmm. You don't love your wife just as you want, maybe the way I, this is how I want to love. No. There's a prototype, there's, there's a marking scheme. This is how I'm going to way. tell you. Don't just love your wife just as you want, but love her as Christ. Loved. So the first thing you need to know is how did Christ love the church? Check your Bible. From the onset, every Christian knows what God doesn't like. How did Christ love That's the church? That's what I'm saying. Church? Christ, out of his love, I mean, we we'll go to that aspect where he gave. But the first thing we know about Christ loving us is to let us know what he doesn't like and what he likes from the Bible. And that's communication. He communicated. There's no person who tell you, I don't know what God doesn't like. Because he has given us his word. So you know. So the, one of the fundamentals of marriage is for us to know our personal expectations and our heart, principles, boundaries. Because, and that's what many of us are failing. Why? Because, like I said, we've shrouded our, our judgment through emotions. No, but, but Apostle, if you have sex with somebody you're dating, mm -hmm. You are courting mm -hmm. and planning to marry. Mm -hmm. Should that shroud uh, bar you from opening up? Hundred percent. You know, I tell people that the Bible is a manual. God knows how He created us. Whenever you end, you engage in this, especially since we are treating that as a topic. Now watch it. God creating women mm, because of childbirth connected your mind and your private part together. It has just one switch. Say that again. Because of childbirth, uh -huh. God connected your brain. And your private part, it has just one switch. It's connected together. Really? Uh, oh, yes, a man has two switches. <laughs> the top here has a different switch, and the down there has a different switch. That's why whenever a man is in the mood to have sex, he doesn't think. 
this one goes off. It doesn't work together. The moment a man is thinking about marriage, this one goes off. That's why he can be sleeping with a man for years. But when he's about to take a decision to marry, he now begins to now assess you properly. That's a man. It's not the same with a woman. Because God created in such a way that during childbirth, your mind can communicate so that you can open up for the child to come. The same way, the moment a man sleeps with you, it enters, so it enters straight to your mind and your heart. That's why you may be in a relationship where you don't even love the gentleman. That gentleman love can be less than about 10%, uh, 10, uh, on the scale of 0 to 10, can be about after, after, let's say 10. Your love can be zero, you don't even have anything. You don't want to see this guy. If by any chance of me, this guy happens to sleep with you, quickly, you, you begin to feel something for the gentleman. Because he slept with you? Yes. Because, that's what I'm saying. It, it enters you. That's why Is it not possible for a woman to also sleep with a man? A, so a woman can never sleep without a reason. No woman can have sex with a man without a reason. It's connected. So you must have a reason. They are not always emotional reasons. Some about, have sex for the sake of money. That's it. Even for commercial purposes, there's a reason. I want this. That's what I'm yes, talking about. Yes, but it's not because, the, can it's sleep not because the heart is involved. Of course, the heart is always involved because, like I said, there's a reason. Do you know why you can stay at this job? Even when you feel like, no, I'm not treated well. Because you know, at the end of the month, there's a money I want. So decisions are taken with the mind and the heart. Anytime you sit and you are thinking, there are two minds communicating your heart and your, heart, your mind. This communicate logically. And this communicate emotionally. That's why somebody can hurt you. You wish you could just, I mean, respond, but your heart can tell no, 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 no. Think about it. There's a competition going on. That happens to both men and women. No, a man can sleep with you without a reason. No, men, I'm when it comes to. But I'm just saying because our sexual organ is not connected, so we can sleep with you without a reason. We may have no girl. That's why I tell women. But it's also possible for a woman, even though have slept with a man, mm -hmm. to still walk off. If that's the more reason that if good. she doesn't feel like that's what I said that it's more dangerous because it's about the heart and um, this uh, explaining the reaction because that I have the, seen women also walk off. Of course, I'm seeing the let, let, let me come down. Watch it here. Because it's connected. That's what sex can even break a relationship. Mm -hmm. Especially if you are, you don't enjoy it, you call it, if you don't enjoy it. Uh -huh. Because it's connected. Okay. So your decisions are based on this same thing. Okay. The, the same way when a ma woman enjoys a man, mm -hmm. it's become very difficult for him, for her, for the woman to leave the man. Okay. Like, because it's connected. But, but the man is not. The man is not connected. That's why whenever a man is not is in a sexual relationship with you, the first need of that man at that time is sex. The moment the man is about to marry, his this changes. Respect becomes number one. Okay. And for him to be able to assess. And very far they did research him. He needs to a logical. So he forgets about the number of times he has slept with you, the number of all the kinds of stuff you've done. The man forgets it. What but about the woman? A woman like I is connected. So that's why you feel like, no, this guy is not good for you. This guy is cheating on you. This guy, they see all the stuff. It's no, no, you know, yeah. you, you don't understand, you know. I love him because your heart is involved. Okay. That's why it's more dangerous for women. Okay. To allow men to sleep, to with, sleep them with them before marriage, okay. it, it clouds everything about you. You become emotionally charged. That is what they say with a man. That's why it's difficult for women to move so on. So most of the things we see, or that even brings about divorce, I tell people, it was there before the marriage started. But the woman, you felt because you were so emotionally, I mean, to the involved. person, this person may change. That's what people say. Sex or marriage. That's what change people. Okay. So it is important we go by the rules of God. God knows how He has created us. Okay. And quickly before I come back to Reverend, these rules are. You said we should. It's important that we obey the rules of, of God course. regarding marriage. Of course. So I, and, I, and these rules are. So I came to say that they are fundamental principles. One is that the fun to lay a foundation of every relationship is through communication. So we need to avoid anything. And that, sex is not the only communication uh, way of communicating, right? Is, no, 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 because if you want to communicate and understand yourself, what, is, what, what, what do you mean by understand yourself? To know everything you like and everything you don't like. Because as we walk around, we all have our expectations as, as people. We, we have, I mean, our, our principles. There are things that, look, it's not known for you, Vida. How do you communicate it? These are the foundations, the fundamental things you have to lay down. And, and we should say it all right. That's why I said about saying, Jesus, now if you want to understand how he showed his love, it's not just about he dying, but also he letting us know what he doesn't like. There are many people in a the relationship, there are many things we don't like, but because we've already, I mean, it, committed, committed ourselves. 
We are keeping quiet. And this man or this woman is doing things you don't like. Your patience level will just, mm. uh, uh, that's a time you can't continue. Mm. Then you feel like, oh, I want to divorce. Don't get to that level. Build a very good foundation. And you need to know. So to ensure this, like I said, break the communication. Know your body. Anything last year, I don't know whether I can add it. I even dictated our love language. Mm -hmm. Know yourself properly. Mm -hmm. Know what you like and what you don't like. Know the theme of your love and language. And communicate it clearly, clearly to the person. So you know this one is a no-go. For instance, before so you even if you have slept with a person, but those things are still absent, you should be brave you enough. Know to walk, you tell should you. be brave enough to walk away, right? Of course. But I don't know what the council tell them then what we do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whenever you engage in sex, whenever you engage in sex, the woman loses more than the man. How? That's what I just explained. Oh, the man is not involved. A man can sleep with you without any reason, just for adventure reason. Look now, why that the way that they lose, no, no, no. I want to check out what is there. It's just mere adventure. But that's what sometimes we call this. If you are looking reason, why men sleep with other women, what is there? It's just mere adventure. That's what sometimes we call this. If you are looking reason, why men sleep around, even when you are married. That's why I tell people: if you are a woman, never judge yourself when your husband goes out. Because men can sleep out without reasons. They can be stupid enough just for adventure, like I said, mm -hmm. or just to even prove a point. I mean, this, uh, I mean, I mean, this place, and Vida comes in, I call her, she doesn't respond to, hey, um, what do you want me to trust me? Just to prove a point, he will do everything possible just, just to, to sleep, sleep with, you. with you. So, men, all th right. that's all this, in, that which has not, nothing to do with you, the wife, in the house. So, and you sit on and you blame yourself. Is it because I'm not greedy now? You may be that better person or be perfect person, but your husband can be that stupid enough mm -hmm. to still go out. Okay. All right, then. So, now that we are talking about long distance relationship, Reverend, I'm coming to you. Your husband, uh, to quote Apostle, your husband can be stupid enough. To sleep with another woman not necessarily because you have misbehaved or you are not beautiful enough but just to prove a point a and therefore such a, a situation can arise in a long distance relationship especially when it comes to the men wouldn't you agree yes of course uh, i feel sorry for the men whose wives are away i feel so sorry well, why for them. do you feel sorry for them no because you wake up in the morning and you you have erection Okay, five o'clock in the morning, uh, coffee up in Janity. Six o'clock, coffee, you know, four o'clock. So the men who don't have self control, eruption means uh, ejaculation, means discharge. So anyway, they'll find a way to get it done. It doesn't matter if it's the maid servant or if it's the woman, the nanny. Or oh, if it's the dog walker, oh, it doesn't matter. But Reverend, you must know? it always be so that in the morning when our men feel the way you have just described, they must necessarily enter? That's what I'm saying. It, that is it some should, individual, uh, individual basis. Okay. It is not a straight cut. There mm -hmm. are some men who can stay for a year. We had mm -hmm. the other day, the seven guy said seven years without feeling the body of a woman yeah. or, or making love to a woman. Yeah. And there are some men who can do that for just three days. Mm. There are some men who can only do it for six hours. Six uh, hours? Every six hours he has to go to the brothel. Uh, he has to look for somebody. Reverend? Yes. Some men are really sex maniacs. You know, and they, they actually get a woman who is not their wife. Because the wife gets occupied with the children or whatever. She cannot give it to you every six hours or every... Mm every 24 hours so they actually have somebody that services them and the person is paid sometimes paid better than how they take care of their wives because that's where their desire i've had situations where a lady will call me my husband wants too much sex and i get too tired reverend what should i do you know the first question i'll ask is did you guys get any counseling before you got married because the man doesn't start doing that after marriage. Obviously, was for somebody habit. like that, he yeah. would have done something with you before you got married. So who am I to come and tell you that, leave that man and go and find somebody who doesn't want it every day? Because you saw it, you liked it, you loved him, you married him. So uh, it is too late for me to come in and tell you, this is not the man for you. It's a choice that you made. There are zillions of men in the world, and you chose that man. And now that it's becoming, just like Apostle said, anything that is exhibited to you in courtship, when you are dating, 
anything you see about the person, when you get married, you're going to get more. Because this time you are within the same roof. And so you see more of the person. So if the person disrespects you or insults you, when you get married, you're going to get more of that. You know, and I know that people are not ready for change. Okay, change starts from the heart. Change starts from the heart. And then the, the, the heart and the mind will join together. Then the change can come, become a reality. Because a human being is a spirit living in a body, possessing a soul. So the three things are working together. And, it, you know, if you are somebody who is controlled by the body, by the outside, by the flesh, then you do things and regret. Mm. Or you do things outside, inward. Mm. But you're supposed to do things inward, outside. Where you have thought about it, exactly. you have felt about it, and, and, then, and then you do it to show. But people just are so spontaneous. They see something, immediately they have to have it, they have mm. to do it, they have to say mm. it. Mm. Until I'm pretty for I say, well, we can't smell a dream once and what can. Mm. Because if you just uh, go by the feelings spontaneously, then, then you regret. Yeah. You know, and we, yeah. we, all, we all fall victim. We are not perfect human yeah, beings. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. We are not perfect. We can do something today. Later on, you think about it. Yeah. Did I do that? You see, that mm. is why I keep saying that. My experience with men, my personal experience yeah. with men, mm. when their head is working, their down there is not working. Wow. And when the down there is working, the head, the head is not working. So a man who is always concentrating on, on the down, on the down, he will finish it and he say, ah, it's a man, Because when the things were knocking down there, he didn't use, oh, he didn't care what the head was telling him. He didn't care. The head is the last thing on his mind. <laughs> he is actively down, downstairs is active. <laughs> and downstairs is looking for some entry, <laughs> entry point. So it doesn't matter. That is why anything in skirt can open. Anything. Exactly. Because there are just a, a, but they should be able to do something about it. You, you know, self-control is the fruit of the spirit. If you do not have the spirit of God, self-control is very difficult. All right. You know, and you have to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. Discipline is one of the attributes that will help you to have your self-control. Right. Mm. All his siblings are girls. Yeah. He was the only man. Mm -hmm. And the ladies are walking around naked every day. He sees his sisters as he was growing up. Exactly. They forget that the boy is growing. Yeah. And they are showing their boobs, they are showing their butt, they are showing their everything to the boy. The mothers who are dressing in front of their sons, you are tormenting the boy. Oh, tormenting. Yes. You are tormenting your son. Highest cross of masturbation in men. Yes. Highest cross. Say, hold, hold on. The number one cross again. of masturbation in men. Is what? Men. It's what? Women undressing, the scenario, mothers, mothers dry, dry, driving, bathing with their, your yes. male, ch ch male children, children, two years from two years upwards, you destroy the, the, the boy. Why? Yeah. Some even as old as five years. Oh, but that, uh, that's more no, it's psychological. Perhaps, okay. if I can quickly add it, there's two elements in psychology that defines our re relationship. Uh -huh. Every woman have an affection for the dad. We call it the Elantra complex. Elantra. And every uh, 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 male have mm -hmm. affection for their mother. We yeah. call it Oedipus complex. Oedipus. So by nature, your son is attached to you. Mm -hmm. Now when you expose your nakedness to him, you understand? Mm -hmm. The desire grow, he, he, he grows. But because he cannot have an affection with you, he imagines you so That's why most of them end up masturbating. Just having the picture and they start. So you see somebody started masturbating at the age of seven, eight, ten. Because of you, the mother. So it's more dangerous as a mother to expose your nakedness to your son. Okay. Likewise, it's more dangerous for a father to expose your nakedness to your daughter. You destroy them. All right. Yeah. And, and, and they take the children for granted. <coughs> you know, I was saying my, my, my son, my little one, when he was as little as 
seven years. When he goes to the bathroom and I'm coming, mommy, I'm in the bathroom. Seven year old boy, you are in your bath in the bathroom. Mommy is coming there. Mommy, oh, mommy, I need to lock the door. Really? Like seriously? For me, I was thinking, oh, wait a minute. But as time goes, I said, yeah, this boy is doing the right thing. You understand? And for me, if I think that some mothers are uh, doing things in front of their sons, some parents are making love in front of their children and telling them that it's okay. You know, I don't mind, I mean, caressing your wife, your husband, when their children are there, they will understand that that is what a man and his wife are supposed to do. But not sex. Because it will go into the head, the skull of that child, and when, just like he said, when they are imagining or they hear the word sex, the first thing that comes to their mind is their mom, their father. You know, and then it's eating into them. They want to see how it is like, oh, why mommy get so excited? After this thing, I also want to know how, you know, because a woman who has sex, you see it on her face. Hey, the, I mean, the, the, she glows. Oh. The woman will glow, especially if she enjoyed it. Not when the man does <laughs> boom, 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 and goes. No. When she that enjoys one, it. When the man does boom, 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 and leaves the woman, you see the bad side of the woman. She will frown. She will be upset. She will wish she had never come close to that man. And when, especially the man finishes and he says, oh, me just got a good table also. Then you are insulting the woman that she's a prostitute. If you want to give her the money, give her the money just, you know, not close to when you are making love to her. Because the moment you sleep with a woman, or you make love to a woman that you love, and when you finish, you give her an envelope. You, you oh, she can that table also. Oh God, that's an insult. That, that goes deep to the heart of the woman. You understand? Yes. So the men don't know. Sometimes they do it genuinely. Yeah. They do but it out of ignorance and out of love. Yes. But please, to don't woman. give money to a woman after you make love to her. Especially if you are talking about a woman that you truly love. And so how, how should they do it in a practical home? Oh, in a Let's say the man returned from work or for lunch, mm -hmm. for instance, and uh, after lunch mm -hmm. they had another lunch. Well, you see, and, and how can you can, you can even be very in. romantic. So you how, can how be how very romantic be about it uh -huh. and say, sweetheart, today you gave me the best style in the world of the bath. I had the best sex today. So can I give you a special gift? Okay. You know, and when you do that. That will even bring out some joy in the woman. Okay. Oh, sure, I appreciate that. And then, okay, here is a, te a check for 10,000 cities. Go, go shopping. Go shopping. You okay. see? It's this is different. the same thing, but you have done you, it in a different way. It's the same story. thing, but you have done it in a different way, which is mm. very romantic. Mm. Baby, today you would, baby, today you were out of this world. Ha! <laughs> 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 Of course, you understand. From from the way. You know, from the way. <laughs> so, okay, today I'm giving you 100% plus 10. Okay. So because of that, we are having dinner. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Okay. So bring it out that way. Okay. But not when you finish, you say, oh, the money is on the table. Okay. Okay? All right. So th that, that is an insult to the woman. All right. So the same thing can be done in a different way, mm. which will bring more, more joy and more glow. Will have a different effect. Yeah. All right. In about five minutes' time, we'll open the phone line so that you at home can get interactive. But uh, last week, there was a question about a long-distance relationship of a girl living in Ghana and the guy living outside the country. Yeah. And, you know, all these while we have been discussing couples who are already married, have lived together but have have had to go apart mm -hmm. as a result of maybe education or or you know or job, uh, or, or, job. or maybe the lady was was pregnant and went to the mother to give birth mm -hmm. you know something mm -hmm. like that but here's a scenario they have not seen before they they, they are just exchanging it's an electronic relationship it's an electronic relationship <laughs> it, can you really call that a relationship yes absolutely because I, from what you're saying, without sex, no, but relationship no, sex is no relationship. Sex is not marriage. Yeah. And no, but the idea out there, and, and there's a huge argument among some of my viewers, that until you have, a, you have sex with your partner or the lady you're dating, the relationship is not really cemented. Says who? 
it's a huge argument among some well, of my viewers. I don't, and, I, I don't and I'd like you to speak to it. Well, let's see, I, yes. I said something. That the man is not ready to spend on the lady because the lady is refusing to have sex. Of course. The lady wants to study the man. In relationship, you don't sure. even spend money. Likewise, you don't give your body. It's a relationship. What's the, what's the essence of relationship? Tell we us we the should define it. Marriage. Huh? Marriage is different from you having relationships say, I want to study you. That's the word. You want to study the person. You want to know the person. Now, the accounts have a proverb. Ojan Bewu, not we are. we are. So why do you give your body when the person has just promised to marry you and he hasn't married? Okay. We, so we, that's say, one we say some of these things, yet we don't even understand. You go around saying that Ojan Bewu Nguyen 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 Yet the person just has promised to marry you, he's not yet married to you. Are you a wife? To give your body to the person. Mm -hmm. So this is where the problem is. And yesterday we had even we had a so, so a long distance relationship, like the scenario we painted earlier, is still a It's a relationship. If you ask whether for marriage, even though there's no such, If you're asking, maybe let's say the person sends the family to come and perform, mm -hmm. which I know I've seen some, yeah. they come and perform the, yeah. uh, to pay the bride price and exactly. everything. Maybe that's, that's what you're asking whether maybe it's a marriage. It's a different question. That's a relationship. We have a normal relationship. You don't consummate it. Let with... me tell you. Yesterday mm -hmm. we had a Zoom meeting. Mm -hmm. We do a, we every Thursday evening we have a relationship Zoom meeting. And uh the one of the coaches, okay, mentioned that she had heard. Of course, I'm sure she heard from me. Because I am one person who believes that in this day and age that we live in. I'm sure if Moses were here and he was going for another Ten Commandments, God would tell him, we are living in, the di in a different space. Where men go to doctors, they cut the penis and they change it and put the vagina there. We are, we are living in a world where yeah. people, have, people have both the penis and the vagina. Yeah. We are living in a world where men are implanting breasts. Yes. We are living in a world where women are putting hormones in their bodies and they become masculine yes we are living in a totally different world true very true. so i dare as a woman of god uh -huh. i dare yeah to challenge everybody that if you want to marry me you come to me you want to marry me i want to see your penis me i want to see it hey i want to see it apostle before i marry you honestly you want to see oh, I want to see, see it before I you, want to no, see no, it. Hold on. I will see it and I will feel hold on, it. Hold on, hold on. You want to see? Yes. Do you want to feel as well? Yes. And also taste? No. Yeah. No. I will go to, to the extent of taste. But you would have opened no, the under no, 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 honestly. By seeing and feeling. Yeah, this is this is a very serious thing I'm saying. Yes, Reverend. And I, I know what I'm talking about. Because I have had a situation, I shared it last night, of a lady. Who was who was married? She had never seen the man's body before. The night of the honeymoon, she took her shoes. She left all her bags. She took her shoes and she ran out of the room. Because? Because the penis was too big for her. She couldn't take it. She took her shoes, forgot her bag, forgot her wedding, no, everything. Come among all the things, it's only the shoes that she took. Because maybe she's running, you know, I don't know, but she took shoes and she ran out. She the ran away from the room. Big. The penis was too big for her. Okay? Too big. She wasn't, you see, counseling is very important. Mm -hmm. She wasn't sensitized. She wasn't prepared. She was so naive. The man too was a man of God. Okay? So they were, they did the right thing that they wanted to do. Which, which is, is not uh -huh. having sex before marriage. Like Apostle is saying. I believe in that. <laughs> I believe in that. I'm only saying that we are living in a very different world. You are going to marry a woman and you may end up in the honeymoon room and you see a man. People are so fake now, too fake, even in the house of God. There are men who are sleeping with men and women at the same time. Yeah. He's uh, bisexual. Yeah. He loves to have a woman, but he wants to sleep with a man. So the, the moment you go for honeymoon, the first thing he will ask is, I want to use your anus. Yeah. We have to have anal sex. Yeah. And the woman is probably a virgin. Yeah. Innocent. 
knowing nothing, have, having even heard about the word anal sex, yeah. she, ha she doesn't know what oral sex is. Yeah. And these things don't come up in the church, a lot of the church counseling. So when the people go for the honeymoon, things happen. The women are crying after the first night, they are crying because there are things that the man is asking for. I've, I've, had, I've had men call me, men. They call me, my, my, my wife doesn't know anything. When you touch her here, she says, ow. When you touch her here, she says, ow. And then I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. And then I'm going to tell you, I'm going to How do we address this? <laughs> well, I mean, what I am saying is uh -huh. that if you are a man, they should see. if you are a man and you are going to marry a woman, don't be shy. Because I had a woman, I was a woman, I was a and make it sure, sir. Or one year, or one year, or one year. And so, no worry about it. No, 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 Flee from fornication. Yes. 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 And you are saying the woman should. Of all the commandments. That we the have woman should. So, of all no, the no, no. So let me let me ask you. How, the how woman how should take my pen and hold it. Yes. And you are telling me I should. Yes. No. I'm allowed to practice. See, 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 apostle. See, apostle. Let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. Let me ask you a question. Yes, Reverend. I'm not that is why we are having. That is why we are having a very high, <laughs> high rate of divorce in the church. I agree. No, this is me, one of the reasons. Let, 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 let me learn. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy, holy. And now, I didn't know that you knew who come on. We don't even discuss these things. A lot of the counselors. A lot of the counselors in the church, they think. It's sinful mm -hmm. to discuss the intricacies of relationship, sex, sex wise, and yeah. you know. In the first place, you even have to send them for lab work. They have to go and do tests. Yeah, medical. You have to know that the man is sound, the woman is sound. Yeah. They have to be prepared that when you're going into the relationship and you're going to get married, the man may have some sexual desires. The woman may have some sexual desires. Have you talked about that? Do you know how many times your husband may be willing to have sex? Do you know how many times the woman may be willing to have sex? Listen, I know there will be people out there who will be saying, Hey, Reverend Rokasano, somebody has to say, What's it? I said, they can coming to you, but yeah. I said, the area I need to scratch. Okay, scratch it. Reverend, the point you just made, how legitimate question is to ask how many times your spouse would want you to sleep with her and all of that. They are very legitimate. But now you are portraying a solution to a certain problem that you have seen as a result of your work. Mm -hmm. And that is that some men feel unsatisfied some women are running away picking their shoes and all of that and so you are suggesting that we should feel we should test i didn't say we should test you have oh. added that to that yourself. <laughs> you didn't say that no so you said we should i see. stood my ground and i say you we should, should see, see. Uh -huh. make sure you see that the man has a penis. fantastic and it's so, not the vagina that is there and you the have woman to should that. also expose herself and the let woman, the guy if you know the guy scrutinize no I didn't say scrutinize. Okay. I said see. See. Make sure that listen. I go to the food. No, you see, I just want to be clear <laughs> on that part. That if the guy wants to see me as I sit here, uh -huh. definitely I need to go uncovered. Is that what you're saying? What I'm saying is that tell me and quote me well. Today that we live in this society. There are women who are putting pads at their back. Yeah. So that they'll have big buttocks. Yeah. There are women who have put silicone around and their... pads around their chest. They'll have a lot of breasts. If I, they have fake teeth. Okay. So if you are a man that you are following a woman, you want to marry her, mm -hmm. because every time she's dressed up, she has a lot of breasts, she has a lot of buttocks, 
and that is what is attracting you to marry her. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to those who are attracted by physical things. If it is the woman's hair, we can take this hair off. Yeah. Okay, in Chibaku. We can take this <laughs> with hair off. No, we can take this hair off. I, I know, right? I, I, I okay. also have a different look and my AK she wants us to <laughs> unveil it, but Reverend has set the tone. One yeah, of these I'm taking my hair off. We are okay. going to unveil I'm it. I'm taking my hair off. It's on national TV. <laughs> I'm trying to let you know that what you see may not be what you are getting. Reverend. So, wait. So, look at so you are a woman. Because, uh -huh. You are looking all that. The man looks at your hair. Oh, she has a lot of hair. Uh -huh. I like women with a lot of hair. Uh -huh. Somebody told me that last week. He met a woman with a lot of hair. He, he fell in love with her. So, you have a lot of hair, the man loves you. And you have a lot of ch uh, chest, the man loves it. I thought I'll be coming to you in a moment. You have a lot of buttocks. I know she'll be loving The man loves it. Uh -huh. So, the man, all the man has been seeing is a woman with a lot of hair, uh -huh. a lot of breasts, uh -huh. a lot of buttocks. buttocks. Uh -huh. So, he goes to tell his people, I found a woman that I love. I want to marry her. What should he do? No, it's not a matter of what should he do. You're going to tell your people. No, I. This is the woman that I love. I'm going to marry her, okay? Especially the woman is abroad, you are in Ghana. And all the pictures she's sending you is chest, buttocks, chest, <laughs> buttocks, and hair. So you're going to marry the hair, the woman, okay? And now you, the, married count, the woman comes to you abroad. And the first night after you, you've married her, your people have gone to do all the rights. And the woman comes to you to, in America. And the first thing you see, it's in the evening, she takes off the wig. And she has no hair at all on the head. And it's Sakura. Okay? One fan on ton chen. Oh, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah, in the chest, you know. No, yeah, yeah, pardon, no, go home. And then who there? Oh, yeah, be cry. Oh, yeah, be. I feel, oh, yeah, no, wrong. Ne, ne, pardon, no, she said, let's go home, Nazi, you know. No, who don't you be? Will you continue to marry the woman or you leave her? I'll leave that question to the audience. The viewers, so, will you continue to marry the woman? No, I wanted you to reiterate the solution you preferred earlier before I come right. to I yeah. come to. Yeah, so you it. can say yeah. it for me because you are saying that in order to avoid such a circumstance, assess the lady. I'm, I'm telling and you. How do you make the assessment? I've said it several times that okay. they should go naked or still covered. <laughs> you 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 make your own decision. <laughs> make your own decision. Oh, Robin, no, 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 Every constitution is a living organism. Mm -hmm. The society can change, mm -hmm. but the word of God is still the same. It doesn't change. Mm -hmm. That's why you've not had second edition of the Bible, mm -hmm. third edition, even though we're in the 21st century. Yeah. Now, the truth is, marriages are collapsing. And we are destroying our marriage, not because, well, not because we don't check our fiscal, I mean, I mean, parts and all rest, but because fundamentally we've broken the foundation of marriage. I've said it on, I mean, uh, yes, several times. It's like you meet a pastor who tells you to become a man of God, you just need the Spirit of God. You become a man of God through the Spirit, you will fail. Another one will tell you, you just need to know the word, intellectualism, I mean, say the word. You will fail because you need the truth and the Spirit. The two goes in hand. Without the Spirit of God and the truth, you can never function as a man of God. Okay. So there are some who just believe that so they can tell you the, the Hebrew and the Greek meaning of the Bible and just, and you are there. But they lack the power of God, you will fail. The reason why it's a collapse is that the element, the three elements that brings us together, because like I said, we function on, ourselves we, on the we function on three things. We, ah, the okay. spirit. The spirit. So you cannot build any marriage without ensuring that spiritually you are together. That's why the Bible tells you a prudent wife is a gift from God, which means whilst you are looking at Vida, look at her physical appearance, you need to also discern into the spirit, pray about her. You understand? So the issue of somebody has changed my private part and this and that. The well, that the reason is simple. We just go in for physical things. And, and just one element. So we, 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 have, we build marriage on spiritual level, physical level. That's the part of the sociological, as we mentioned, and psychological. Now, which means that before I 
even tell you, I want to marry you. I should have prayed about you. But and the Spirit of God will not lead your faith. Many of us have destroyed that foundation, like I said. That's why the more you meet, the only thing you are thinking about is if it says, the more you have spiritually, you break that foundation. You but, but it. Reverend, you have also admitted on this platform that men are attracted by what they see. Of course. And women by what we of hear. Of course. I want, to ask him, I want to ask him, how many pastors now have wives who don't have a talk? No, no, you come there. I'm, I'm not the one that they want to be I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disputing, I'm not di disputing the fact that the first oh. also come, like I said, like I said, so I said there are three levels. So my question don't pick is, one and use it as my, you will fail. Which, the which of them come So don't just go into marriage. Mm? Mm -hmm. Don't go into marriage with just the physical alone, you will fail. Okay, yeah. so. Some even sit here and say, because our family are united, so arrange marriage. Then you bring the children to them because of uh, that social radical, the marriage will fail. The marriage should be built on three levels the spiritual, sacred. Because we've destroyed the spiritual foundation, that's why we're being led astray. You understand? So, yes, by nature, we attract. I mean, you should have a, a woman who, I mean, is attracted to you physically. That's not true. I'm not disputing that. They are all part. That's why somebody can even marry, and the, 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 the man says you are not sexually, I mean, compatible. compatible. Oh, yes. So first yeah. question, you can't take it out. But I'm saying that we need to lay the foundation right so that we don't just concentrate on one. In order to solve the fiscal attraction, this is why some of this solution comes in. And this solution comes to destroy other foundations. You don't All tell right, me a man on. should feel, or uh, 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 should be a lot, or uh, a lady should feel. Okay, I'll be talking about that in a little bit. <laughs> I, I like that part a lot. I'll be talking about that in a little bit. Let me announce feel, your post. Feel it. <laughs> the, the, the three things we need to do. Reverend is trying to take away one, but we'll find out if we can do the two without the third. Zero three zero two seven seven zero two two two. Zero three, Reverend, I'm sorry. Zero three zero two seven seven zero two 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 is a number we are using this morning. But even before you start calling, let me remind you, my cherished viewer, and for those who probably missed out on Monday's edition, we are raising funds to support a patient suffering from a disease called mandibular ameloblastoma. It is a disease that affects the jaw, uh, the cheek, your face. I mean, medically, uh, if you don't treat it, it can disfigure you. That your jawline may grow out of proportion. It is a painful uh, growth inside and out. And as you saw Doris on Monday, her face is already disfiguring. And by the day, it gets worse. We are raising funds. And let me acknowledge the receipt of some monies which have come in as we began on Monday. But we know that our target is more than a billion Ghana cities, and we are nowhere near half of that figure. And that's why we are scrolling the numbers on the screen again. The Momo number is 0248-071020. And the GCB account number is 702101. Zero zero eight nine nine three eight. Within the course of the program, I would repeat it, but the number is I'm told it is on your screen. Kindly pick a little drops of water, they say, makes a mighty ocean. That young girl needs your help to have her life back and to live it fully to contribute to society. It's only you and I that can do it. So let's do this for her. And I'm sure God will replenish whatever you spend on this account. Thank you for your attention. Apostle. Yeah. So, so because we cannot do away with the physical, and we are talking about long distance relationship, yeah. Reverend cited a perfect example of how a marriage Nothing, can be contracted. She said it's a general thing because with a long distance, how do you even meet the person to even test it? This is so, general. So, my question is <coughs> if. if my question is, in that case, do you let a family member do the assessment for no, you? No, that's what I'm saying that. The reason I'm married is she, she... She's not uh, shaking her head. No, I'm saying that the reason marriages are I mean, collapsing these days is not only because we don't check this kind of thing. It's because the three foundations, we've, we are concentrating. You meet some people, they are just concentrating on only the physical. Mm -hmm. When you do that, your marriage will collapse. 
Okay. You meet something, it's just about the spiritual, spiritual, you three cents. You only feel everything about I really spiritual. have to interject here. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's because I need to correct the telephone number I earlier gave. Today, we are using 0302 986065. 0302 is the number to call, not the earlier one. So please, let's hear from you. 0302986065 is the number. Apostle. So you meet Christians today and their concentrations on the spiritual, forgetting that we are human beings going to meet Mary. So, yes, you need to concentrate on the spiritual, but you need to check the other element. How do you do that in of, a manner that will not uh, interrupt your belief? What it your means Christian is that belief. when I meet a lady, before I think of marrying her spiritually, I need to pray. You see, when we are going to take one, but you need to appreciate it. Even as we walk around, every moment we just pray. And we move, we, we live in an environment surrounded by, as the Bible speak, uh, say in the book of Hebrew, we are being surrounded by okay. a witnesses. There's a caller on the line, Apostle. Let's speak to him or her. Hello, good morning. We, we can't hear you. Please, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Fantastic. I'm uh, calling for uh, my, my issue is that uh, my uh, mom is saying it's You it's sound right. a bit far because away from the phone. I have you? with that before. I was dating a lady. She used to come to my house. Sometimes she go on naked, and I see her. I didn't touch her. No, no, no! But, uh, Please hold on. Day, Can you start little... afresh because yeah. we missed the beginning part? Hello. Yes. Now let's hear you. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Bukwazi. My name is Gideon. Okay, Gideon. Let's hear you. Yes. I was dating a lady that I wanted to marry her. She used to come to my house. Then I'll see her nakedness. In fact, uh, how she look in, in when he, uh, she's on the dress is different. When I ever saw her, in fact, everything was off. So one day I, uh, I was going to bath and I saw uh, my, my sister also bathing. So the door is open now. When I got there, I saw my sister's skin was very beautiful, in fact. So over there, I said, ah, people could have somebody beautiful like this than. Uh, the one that I'm chasing, I have to change my mind and wait until God give me different woman. Mm -hmm. And it happened like that. If I were to marry that woman, like by this time I would divorce her and it would be a lot of problem. I see. So what was different from when she was wearing dresses? Yes, every day she used to dress uh, nicely and you see back there, you know, when she, she, when she removed the dress, you see a lot of uh, stretch mark and a whole lot of things, which maybe I don't like. Ah, okay. Okay. So, but by then you had tested, right? Is that? <laughs> by the time you saw her nakedness and decided you were not going to continue, you had tested No, no, no I don't want to go because if, if I, what I saw, uh, 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 what I saw with my sister and what I saw between her, there's a, di a big difference. Okay. If I married to her, maybe one day I will become a, a womanizer. Okay. All right. Ask him whether he's married. So are you married now? Yes, I'm married. I'm married. For how many years? For how many years now? Oh, I'm married for 11 years. Hey, 11 years? Yes. Wow, because you found the one that you really love. Okay. We wish you well. Thank you very much for calling to share your experience. So Thank you. Thank it affirms you. the point, Reverend May. But the, then the I asked my... The point is that you need three elements to come into play. Whenever you are taking the decision to marry, uh -huh. don't pick one. One cannot sustain the marriage. But Reverend a Apostle, this one, let's say that he chose, he he based his decision on one of the elements. Hasn't it worked for him? The question is, how do you determine work? The work is if you ask him, he how, has how many times he has cheated, for how many times he has cheated on his wife? That person didn't come. In. So when we sit down with people and you know what we are oh, hearing. Okay, there's a caller on the line. Please hold on. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Okay, so we'll come back to the phone line. We can't hear this caller. Somebody yes. trying to be in a marriage for 30 years. To okay. you, we think. Okay, the caller is still on the line. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Help. Yeah, we, we can hear you. Please go ahead. What's your name and who are you calling from? My name is Reverend Opare. I'm calling from Dasuma. Okay, Reverend, let's hear you. 
Um, the, the, the topic this morning is very interesting. I'm a counselor myself. So I want to contribute a little to the discussion. Please go ahead. What the Reverend, the Reverend Mr. The Woman is saying is very correct. You see, we are in a world, a very dynamic world, where the youth are doing all manner of things to enhance their beauty. So if you are not careful, you will pick what you are not interested in from this from the onset. I counseled a couple Are we, am I on? Yes, you are on. Okay. I counseled a couple about about six years ago. Mm -hmm. This young man married a very beautiful girl and for five years he has been sleeping with the lady through the enos. Oh. To the point that the lady was now putting on pampers. Oh. And this is a young man from a very wealthy home. They actually organized the, the marriage between two families because the boy wasn't into women. You see, if they had gone for, for counseling, they would have known that the young man had came from his university time. But then it was very unfortunate that all these things were not found out before they got their marriage. And the young lady had a very big problem. She was passing a script down control of the social to pampers. For five years, the young man had been sleeping with the lady to the us. So what the woman is saying is very good that if we are not careful and we are going to go by strict laws, we will put our children into this difficult situations that they may not be able to come out. Yeah. yeah. So that's my little conversation this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, Reverend. God bless you. Uh, let me <clears throat> let me just say that mm -hmm. if I had sat here 20 years ago, I wouldn't have given this advice. Yeah. If yeah. I had sat here... But there's a grey no, area I you still have an answer to, I want to, I want to, for. Yes, like, if I can finish what yes, I was saying. Yes, I was to finish. Reverend has to finish so that. So our question. problem now is uh -huh. that most people are concentrating on just one or two of the elements. That will not uh, help your marriage to work. But well, there's there's a, let me come in. Well, when you concentrate on the advice that um, Reverend gave, to some extent, you say it's good. But to me, from what I said, it can't sustain marriage. You know why? Why not? Because as I've said it on this platform, every marriage, whether you like it or yes, go to seven stages. Now watch it. When it's list the stage, there's one we call explosive stage. Normally we put it at the C stage. This is where any of you can suffer. I mean, predicament. You can anything can happen. Maybe okay. you can even the, the, the woman the can suffer burns and this. So if you concentrate on the physical and today your your wife has suffered burns. Let, let, let's, let, let's speak to this caller so we don't lose him or her. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, ma'am. It's good to hear your voice. What's your name and where are you calling from? Please, my name is Mary, calling from Accra, um, Madina. Okay. Let's hear you, my dear. Okay. Um, the reason why I called this morning is I'm really interested in the program that you're doing, okay? But what I'm thinking about is, is it even easy for you to get a man who will say, I won't have sex with you, excuse my word, yeah. before getting married? Mm -hmm. Like, what the woman is saying is true. Is it even easy for you to get a man who will say, oh, I'm waiting, I will have to marry you before mm -hmm. having sex with you, mm -hmm. and all that? No. Even if you get, it means the man is having problem or the lady is having problem. <laughs> yes, all the guys and all the, a lot of them, they will have sex with you. And and when you tell them no, you won't do it. They they leave you, right? So <laughs> she didn't it's not easy. Of, I'm thirty years of age. I have two kids, but I don't know what is going on. I just have to sit somewhere, do my own work, and then take care of my kids. Yeah. That's all. I'm not yeah. even thinking of marriage. Uh, so when you tell them you don't want to have sex, to let me so ask you a question. And take care of my kids. That's all. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good option. But let me ask you. When you tell them you don't want to have sex before marriage, what do they tell you? Yeah, the, if, 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 if you say you don't want sex, you, you want to wait before getting married and all that. You say, ah, why? Are you are you a virgin? So they leave, eh? They leave. 
They leave. They don't stay with you. If, if, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Thank you for calling, Rhythm. for sharing your Cute. view. Thank you so much. So that's our last call. I will be wrapping up in a little while. But Reverend, the case so is how a, do... a typical case I even gave as an example yesterday. Mm. You will never go and buy a brand new car from Toyota and be thinking you want to do a test drive. No. They will only do a warrant because they believe this is a brand new car. Nobody has sat in it. The reason why some of these advice are coming is because how we have changed the whole system. But that is but a reality. Was, it doesn't change the word of God. But that is a reality. It doesn't change the word of God. So the earlier we begin to preach or teach them to come back to the original state, the better. Because look, it's like changing the goalpost. Now when you change it to But you just heard the last call. Of course, that's what I'm saying. I've said, I've said, I've said you, are, you are giving birth to two children. A man has slept with you. Now I count you and tell me no. She wants no. to do it now, right. Listen, listen, she listen. Wants to do listen it to right. the person they ask. Are you a virgin? I mean, I she may not be a virgin, but she wants to if do it. You want to buy Ghana, if you want me to buy Ghana, to buy Ghana to uh, home car, a car that after coming to... from home, somebody has driven it, I have to check the engine. So the, the point is that this advice is coming because we, have, we are not ready to I change the system. There are so many women or men out there who are single parents. Of course. Are you saying that they don't deserve second so chance? So even, even your state alone should advise you. I allow somebody to impregnate me, uh -huh. yet that didn't guarantee marriage. Yes. The person is gone. That is On right what basis she should I give my body a gift? Of you. course. So now she needs to bring the other elements. It's not only me avoiding sex, but I need to also pray. Okay. Marriage is a mystery. Okay. Marriage is designed by God. So people you need like to pray. Her to be praying. Then I'm you need to also that. share the social media, her relationship, her interaction. Okay. Now the question is, it's like marketing. If you sit in an area where the entire population is Unfortunately, our time is up. The entire population there is 10. Uh -huh. It's different from sitting at that area where the entire population is 1,000. Uh -huh. The market side determines. We'll be, we'll be so she friends. needs to now make friends. Okay. You understand? There are women who are praying for marriage. But if you ask them about their friends, it's only up to 10. You're not ready for marriage. Let me correct Osofo. I bought several brand new cars in America. Several. You always test drive the Exactly. Car. You Always, I can go to Toyota no how new it and is. The, I may not test drive the exact brand what new one they are that? giving me, but they have a prototype. My, my, is, have... A, my is a brand new. Yeah. Because if you are test you are just checking the comfort. I said the brand new car, I'll be surprised. Right, you buy a brand new car, you test drive, I'll be surprised. No. I, I don't I'll know whether we should do a part three of this. <laughs> I'll, I'll be surprised. Because we still didn't do the solutions. <laughs> well, the solutions are in the word of God. The word of God says that do not commit fornication, do not commit adultery. Our time is out. So what I am saying is that don't take women on their face value because in this day and age, there's a lot of medical situations, okay. additions, that I have gone to the extent of removing my wig mm. for you to see yeah. that there's a lot of artificial intelligence that is on the outside. <laughs> okay? So if you're a man who is attracted by physical things, it's okay. But you must add the spiritual to it. All right. You must look for women with brains, mm -hmm. intelligence, the fear of God, number one. If you don't work, work for a woman, you don't look for a woman who has the fear of God, and you only go with the, the breast and the buttocks, and uh, you'll be disappointed. Thank you very much. Thank you. You'll be disappointed. But I think there's no more to be added. I, our time is really up, and, and we have to go. This has been one of you know the most interesting <laughs> topics we have had to this. Oh, but <laughs> you. <laughs> Thank you for watching the show. To all our viewers, I am grateful. And as we go into the weekend, my prayer for you is in Psalm three, hey, my verse three. Your program. We can talk about yeah, it. My next program Friday. is coming on next Sunday. So, so we have Friday to talk about and it. I'll let Why? them prepare their minds. Because of time, really, we have overspent okay. our time this morning. Forgive me. We we will do this next week Friday. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Remain blessed. May the Lord continue to lift your head up and may his glory envelop you even as you go into the weekend.